वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इपिस्टैटिक इंट्रैक्शन ऑफकोर्स लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स कैन ऑन बी डेल्ट बट डेफिनेटली वी विल बी डीलिंग फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स द फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट is typical di hybrid ratio if you see here 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 you will be confused with the ratio of the mendelian ratio of independent assortment here i would like to emphasize again just recall that the mendel has taken two characters the shape of the grain and the color of the grain there are two different characters there are two different genes controlling that and they are located on different chromosomes that is why he got independent assortment but once a single trait if it is controlled by two genes three genes four genes different cases here i'll be dealing only two genes interactions because it is very tough to describe all the interactions with many genes so we will be dealing with the interactions of two genes and their ratios so here i would like to say that this is different from the mendelian principle here a single trait single character is being controlled by two different genes if these two different genes are coming separately they are giving different two different types of trait in both genes are coming together in dominant phase they are going to give the third type of trait if both the genes are coming together in recessive form they are going to give the fourth type of trait so i will to deal with the typical di hybrid ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 in my of two generation i am going to put the comb character of poultry if you see the comb trait if your comb you you know very well the comb in the poultry so uh, which i have i have tried to explain the comb character here i have drawn myself of course i'm not very good in drawing but i have tried to show you the different characters of uh, uh, comb of poultry here if you see if if a particular gene one gene is coming along with second gene controlled by if it is controlled by two genes if one gene is in dominant position and another is coming in a recessive position this is going to give a different comb character say for example if rose rose type comb is controlled by capital r capital r and if p type comb is controlled by capital p capital p so if dominant character is coming a uh, dominant alleles are coming along with the recessive alleles of another gene then the dominant one is will be the phenotype of the progeny here if you see capital r capital r small p small p is going to give you the rose type of comb and another case capital r small r is also going to give you the rose type if it is coming with small p small p so all the poultry will be of p type comb if they are having this type of genotype the another is the case here the dominant gene is seen here is small r small r capital p capital p that poultry will be p type of comb 
small r small r capital p small p that poultry will be of p type form so here it means that once a trait is controlled by two genes and both genes are coming together the dominant gene phenotype will be expressed as you have seen whether dominant is rose so rose type will be seen whether uh, dominant is p coming with the recessive of rose so p will be seen now you see if both the genes are coming together in dominant phase then the third type of com character is coming here you see uh yeah the different type of com is here you see here both the genes are coming together in dominant form you see capital r capital r will show you the capital r capital p capital p will show you the capital p if both are coming together they will be giving you the phenotype walnut type com if capital r small r coming with the capital p capital p again both the genes are coming in dominant uh, form will be giving the same walnut type if capital r capital r capital p capital p again also you are finding that both the genes are in dominant phase so you will be getting walnut type another case the capital r small r capital p small p here uh, again you are finding that both the genes are coming together in dominant phase so of course in heterozygous condition no problem but expression is of dominant genes of both the uh, genes uh, dominant traits of both the genes so you will be getting the walnut type in all these four types of genotypes will be giving you the walnut type of com then the leftover is the if both the genes are coming together both the genes are coming together both the genes are coming together in recessive form then they are giving going to give the fourth type of character that is single type you see the single type single type single type com you see here if is small r small r is small p small p is there all the poultry which are have poultry which are having small r small r small p small p they will be showing this type of com uh so this is the beauty of this interaction the typical Di hybrid ratio nine is to three is to three is to one. How you are going to get? You can see here a hen which is having rose type, and its genotype is capital R capital R small p small p is crossed with the cock is having is uh, p type com small r small r capital P capital P. what you are going to get the all the progeny all the chickens all the chicks will be having walnut type of comb this type uh yeah this type of comb character all progeny will be having so you can understand that what was the genotype of female what was the genotype of male if all the progeny is having walnut type so now you if you are crossing between two means in plants you can go for selfing but here you cannot intermating you can go for intermating because it is not bisexual uh, which plants are having so here you are going for intermating if these individuals these progeny you are crossing between them all are having capital r small r capital p small p all progenies all progenies are having capital r small r capital p capital p if you are crossing mating between these intermating between these so the gametes what male is having the gamete what what female is having the gamete you are finding here very clear these are the male gametes these are the female gametes similar type of gametes the male will be having similar type of gametes the female will be having to so capital r capital p the one type the capital r small p one type the small r capital p one type the small r small p one type similarly here also so in male and female in both 
the cases you are having these four types of gametes the male gamete and female gamete and now if you are seeing the combinations if they are coming together what is happening here capital r capital r capital p capital p likewise you see in the checkerboard 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio this will be giving you the walnut this will be giving you walnut this will be giving you walnut this will be giving walnut this is walnut uh, this is rose this is walnut this is rose this is walnut this is walnut this is p this is p this is walnut this is 